<laughs> this is not a great angle for me. Can you see? It's this is more of a angle. double chin. But if we went up here, hey, I look 14 years younger, we don't look I? Amazing. Yeah, yeah. But here, not so much. Here, it's like a little low on the vitamin D. Okay, but you look good. Thank you. Yeah, you do, and you have the, the sunshine. Uh, Thank you for having me. Yeah. This is a, uh, this is a, I, I just entered this house. I don't know who lives here. Oh. I was walking by, I'm in LA, uh, by the way, walking by and um, it looked nice. And people in LA are very trusting. They don't lock the doors. Huh. So I knocked, I said, delivery, Amazon Prime. No answer. Wow. And here I am. So I thought, why not? Like an hour, we can, we can hang here so for an hour. So nobody's come by? Uh, not yet. I mean, they may. Who knows, right? Who the fuck knows? Oh, I'm so excited to have you here, by the way. Thank I you really so much am. For I am a, me, an idol of yours. Aww. I really am. That's I really so am. Nice. I wax my legs for the occasion. Oh, my God. And I'm not very hairy. People okay. look at me and think, oh, you have like mullets everywhere. Some okay. people ask me if I do my pubic hair as a mullet. Oof. I don't. Okay. I don't. You know what I mean? I just keep it clean. Yeah, I yeah, don't need yeah. people kind of. It's not like How a Raiders lost art. Oh, uh, I mean, I've had it on and off for years. I used to have more of an elaborate mullet. I had it braided on top. Oh, wow. And it was super long down in my wow. butt cheeks. Yeah, but now I've kind of, um, I've taken it down a notch. Because I grew up in the South. Right, I and know. So Where do you, but you don't sound like you're from the South at all. Did you try well, to erase it for your acting career? No. Well, my dad was in the Army, so they didn't have an accent. But we moved in the seventh grade, so I didn't really have much of one. What do you mean my dad was in the Army didn't have an accent? Well, my dad was in the Army. <laughs> we moved around a lot, so we weren't in the South. Okay. For most of our, I was in the South starting. You were an army grade. brat. I was an army brat. What did he do in the army? He was a lieutenant colonel. I wish I knew what that meant. Yeah. It, that's pretty high up. It's above a sergeant. It's pretty, yeah. It's, okay. It's above a sergeant, but we had a lot of friends with mullets, and I, I, I was an mullet Andy's people kid, are delightful. So delightful. They are. Okay. I hope. Yeah. This looks good. This looks good. Yeah. I I bought it's this. Very fancy. It is fancy and it's expensive. Should we show the friends at yeah, home? Yeah. Please show. It's a Zoom H5 recorder. Oh my uh, available on Amazon Prime and doubles as a dildo. I knew oh, you knew I was going to oh say God, that, that's right? An uncomfortable dildo. <laughs> well, you know it's it's edgy. It's edgy. Yeah. Um, you got to always raise the bar, I guess. <laughs> Stretch it out. I am thrilled to have you here. You, I I kind of want to go through a bunch of things about your career. I want to make sure the mold is getting on camera. Oh no, where people know just, me, people know the glory, but you're the right. star. You know what I mean? You really are the star. I really chose an awkward angle. This house angle. has cats. I know, and you are, you're about to sneeze. I'm Do you want to sit to outside? No, I'm fine. I'm, uh, if I start wheezing, you'll know why. Oh, good lord. No, but it's fine. That's, I you probably have a cute wheeze. You have, have a funny <laughs> wheeze because you're a comedic actor. You do like, eh. No, I just have, I got my inhaler on me. For those asthmatics out there, no. Oh, I'm sorry. You always have your inhaler on you. Always have your inhaler on you. But it's fine. Guys, it's fine. They have three. Oh, God. No, but we can go outside if you want. No, totally I mean, it's fine. so stupid. I, I, I didn't, I, squ you know what I mean? I entered the wrong house. I didn't know. I should have scanned oh, for pits. Oh, my gosh. I should have right. scanned for pits. Well, free is free. <laughs> exactly. You gotta take what you get. Tony Hale, were you born Anthony Hale? I was born Anthony Hale, and then I, I changed my name when I was in this. When I moved to Tallahassee, I said, I think I want to be a Tony. And I bummed You thought you'd get it. more like game if you were a Tony, or what? I, don't know, I think it sounded, I don't know, I, I don't know why, what I thought I sounded, but I kind of wish I didn't because I like the name Anthony. Well, you can always change it back or have people I refer could. to you as Anthony. That's true, I could. Maybe you'll just call my I can call you person. Anthony from now on. I Anthony Halley? Anthony Halley. It's Anthony like a jazz Russell. singer. Russell. Ooh, Halley. okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. I like that. Anthony Russell Halley. I like Halley. Um, you, yeah, you, you know what? I gotta maybe turn you up because you do sound quiet. Talk again. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Maybe I need to raise you a little bit now. Go now. Da, 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 maybe. Da, da. I can't fucking tell. Yeah, you do. You, do. you are. Hold, a... Do you mean to hold it up to my mouth? No, I think you're, I think you're okay. All right. I mean, I still can't. Yeah, I think you're okay. I just love you in the foreground. I know. Just tap it for me one more time. Yeah, when you tap, it's festive. Okay. Okay. I think we're fine. I mean, whatever. People yeah, can yeah, always yeah. connect the dots and imagine what you're saying. That's right. right. That's right. Um, now, did you do radio when you were growing up? I did not do radio. No, no. And this whole thing about podcast is, what, last mm. last two months or something? No, I'm just kidding. Podcasts have been around for, what, like 10 years, maybe? No, not 10 years. Maybe Less. a good five or six. Five or six, right? Um, no, I lived, I was a big read. People always are shocked. You know, I was a big reader as a kid. Mm. I had a very dysfunctional childhood. Mm. Daddy yeah, was absent. Did well, yeah. did you have a fucked up childhood? No, I think... We all had our, there's been a lot of, uh, it's interesting. Interesting, interesting is a good, is a yeah. good one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, okay. do you feel comfortable talking about it or no? Do you want to Ish. keep it clean? Okay, then we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> um, I just had a fucked up childhood. Dad was not present. Mm. Um, and Phelan, Casper White, my mom, was just a terrible mom. Um, mm. I'm still trying to forgive her. Phelan, that's Phelan, a southern yeah. well, well, Phelan and Rayland, right? I mean, yes, that's, that's where yes, we, yes. Uh, 
she endowed me. Narcissist. What's the last name? Casper White. Sure. Okay. Um. So Anthony Haley Russell. Uh, <laughs> My uncle's name was Uncle Bubba. No, it wasn't. Yes. <laughs> I love when people actually affirm our stereotypes. You know what I mean? No, I was it really? Bubba. What was Bubba short for? Um, I think well, I've named Russell's after him. So his first name was Russell, but they called him Uncle Bubba. What, did he look like a Bubba? Was he or he was he like lanky much. and like a mechanic? What, what? He wasn't around much. I think he got into a lot of trouble. Would you be considered white trash? I don't like using that term because I people think um, I am, and I'm like, uh-uh. Yeah, I think I've got. I, I think I have that in my history. Okay. Yeah, okay. And proud of it. You should be. Well, my favorite thing to do is go to a mall, so I think that kind of makes me in that category. Yeah. Well, I think malls. It's such an American. You know, oh, phenomenon. I mean, Europeans thing. try and do malls, and they're ridiculous. It's like and I'm not into the outdoor mall. I like a fully, like the Grove here in yeah. LA, which I is like just a like Disney full World indoor mall, like the Minnesota malls where there's tunnels yeah, connecting yeah, to yeah. your home. Yeah. Like literally, you can leave your house That's into a tunnel, dream. walk seven miles to the mall. Oh, it's my dream. Is it though? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I love Central AC. Uh, oops, oh wow! Let's see who's calling. Who's calling? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's my. You want to answer? Somebody's at the door. What do you mean somebody's at the door? You have like a security system now that you're famous and shit? Well... Is there a camera? I'm going to turn... I don't know what's up here. Oh my God, you can say. Who's Let's at your door? See, I don't know. Uh, hello? Hey, Tony, it's Jason. Oh, hey, man. Come on in. Hey, thanks. Wow. Technology, man. Who the fuck is Jason? <laughs> So wait, why can't you tell me who Jason is? You can't. Oh, he's just a friend of ours. I think. Is he's he your pool up boy? <laughs> no, I mean, God, what is no. going on? Is your no. wife at home? He's is just... this like an open marriage when Jason just shows up? He's just picking up something at the house. Okay, yeah. sounds like a bad porn beginning to me. <laughs> Ugh, you um, don't want to see me in a porn. You don't want this. Well, Jason, maybe I want to see Jason in the porn. I don't. I don't know what Jason looks that's like. A, that's a good point. He had a good silhouette. It's like a daguerreotype. I know. <laughs> wow, you do have <laughs> a good vocabulary. <laughs> My gosh, you are a reader. <laughs> I just like busting that shit out when I can. Well, did you um, get good SAT scores? I didn't do the SAT, sweetheart. No, I but I, 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 I'm a autodidactic. Well, you know I, what I mean? <laughs> I like to teach myself shit. And to get what is what's that? Do you make up words? I guess sometimes. I like to, um, and not like George Bush did. You know uh, what I mean? Sure, or yeah, yeah. nuclear? Was it nuclear? No, that's, is it nu nuclear is the right way. What did he say? N nuclear. Nu uh, nuclear. Nuclear. <laughs> nuclear. Well, that's maybe that's a southern. Because my my mother in law says instead of water, she'll go water. Wow. And then for children, she'll go children. Okay. So she's like deep, deep south. My wife's from Alabama. Okay. Yeah. I, I, people from Alabama are generally nice. Yeah, very nice. You know. So, I mean, I love her family, and I love a lot. Of, but they definitely there's a. a you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. It's like a they, mask. It's all it's, passive aggressive, yeah. like sweetheart, and then they're yeah. just stabbing you in the fucking back. And it's also kind of sing song, like, what are you doing? Why was so nice to see you? And da 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 da. It's a lot of that rhythm. I like that cadence, though, because I find that, like, I like the Brits because they have musicality to their voice. They do. But then we talk, you <laughs> know, America, do. a lot of people in America, they have that, and it just, they sound like that, and it's yeah, all yeah, very, very dry. well, just monotone and in the yeah, back of their yeah. throat. Well, and it's like Australian, they're sing songs. They're too. sing, yeah, but they're just boozed up. You know what I mean? But the Southern, if you need to burp, you can burp. I just did. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cats. Is it? Are we going to blame the cats for all body functions now? Oh, yeah. They cause me flatulence. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, I pooped because I'm allergic to cat. Claire and D is not supposed you to. You didn't eat your bar. I will. I just don't want to burp on you. I don't know what these okay. bars have. Three egg whites, 14 peanuts, two dates, no bullshit. I mean, really? You know what? I like simplicity. It sounded like briars when they were like, no chemicals. It's just milk, oh. cream, sugar, and... No, it is. I think it's, I think it's pretty simple. Is MSG a hidden ingredient? We are not paid for this ad. Yeah, but, I know. I wish well, they sponsored it. It does me. say natural flavor, so God knows what's well, in it. Well, natural, they say, can be like, yeah, natural can mean anything. Natural can mean artificial. It's yeah, just naturally yeah, yeah. artificial. Yeah, they taste good. Um, I get very bloated from Dramamine. Wow. Yeah, I'm just saying. I took Dramamine on the flight over. Did I you flew really? Delta, uh, and Delta was delightful. Oh, okay. They were good. They gave out food without charging, which I literally came, I had an huh. orgasm. I literally came, I went, oh, God. And I said, do I have to pay for the snack pack? And he said no, and I asked him five times if I had to pay for the fucking snack pack. I wonder if they're promoting their a new snack because you typically have to pay. For Delta, yeah. do yeah, I don't yeah. know, but it was a big ass plane to fly from New York to LA. It had the two four two. Oh yeah. And yeah, a huge yeah, yeah. business in first, which I yeah, went to just yeah, chat. Yeah. They kicked me out. You know, they sure, said stay yeah. behind the curtain. I never stay behind. Yeah. I always go pee in the first class. Of course. And I'm a little. I'm not exactly discreet. 
Yeah, when yeah. I walk through first, they're not yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah, blend yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. And I'm usually wearing my isotoners and, yeah. you know, some day glow pants in case there's a crash. Oh, and we fall in the nice. ocean, they can spot me from oh. the air. Wow. You know what I mean? You are prepared. I am. I am. I always also, I always think, this is, let me ask your thoughts on this, Tony Hale. No, I love it. Um, Haley. <laughs> Haley. Russell right. Haley. Yeah. Or just Bubba's nephew. But, <laughs> why don't they hand out parachutes to everybody on the plane like if a plane is going down yeah. why can't everybody have a parachute and then they open the exit door and we all parachute out like why yeah. is it a crash inevitable well there's also a lot of there's a there's a lot of information that they're not, they're not just saying if we're going down right i don't i don't it, there's a very little chance i think we'll survive <laughs> That's what I'm saying, though. But if we're going yeah, yeah. down, can they quickly open the door and we all just parachute out? I don't know if you're going down that fast if you can try to get everybody out. And then they'll hit the plane and all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, I never thought of that. Hitting yeah. the plane on the way down. It still feels like a better option than just sitting there but to also, your there's, there's something about... If you're going over water, sure, I think you have right? a chance. But over land... Over land, know. probably not. Yeah, because yeah, then you got to do that little jog they do before they land. Yeah, and you just yeah, break yeah, some. Yeah. I still would rather break my legs and just die. Isn't it wild, though, like that... Um, to your point, that plane that size is in the air is yeah. flying. I know. When I think about that too much, I freak out. Of course. You know what I mean? Do you ever get anxiety over stuff? Uh, Yeah. I struggle with a lot of anxiety. Do you like pop a Xanax or what? No. I don't do anything. I just breathe. I used... Well, have you, have you heard of the square breathing? No. Where you breathe... <laughs> <laughs> square breathe? I'm not geometry Where you bullshit. Breathe it, you breathe in for five counts, hold for five Oh, I've counts, done that, yes. Is that breathe called breathe the square? Five, and then you sit for five, and it's called a square What do you mean, breathe. city? Don't breathe? You just kind of... Yeah. You, you hold kinda, your breath for so five? You go breathe in, hold it, breathe out, and then you just kind of sit there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that helps better? That makes you focus? Because what it does is it's slow. Because remember, t- um, I, I remember having a panic attack years ago. And they're like, all right, take deep breaths. But you're just like. <gasps> right. You're sick. But what you need to do is kind of slow down your breathing. Okay. So that's a way to yeah, kind deep of breath sounds, hyperventilating down. sounds like oh, a faint worse. waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um. But I do, used to get anxious on planes. I don't really get anxious on planes anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I fluctuate. I, I watched a lot of movies on this flight. I watched uh, Juliet I Naked, oh. which was fun. Okay. Yeah, have you seen it? That was such a <laughs> southern response. <laughs> Having I know many southerners, and that's what you know what that was. That was fun, and that was fun. <laughs> it that's, was fun. It that's was fun. Was fun. It's either fun or cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, see, I don't call shit cute. A lot of shit in my mind is not cute. It's like when they go shopping. Oh, that's cute. God, that's cute. Oh, that's, that's fine. Cute. I don't wear cute clothes. I wear functional. So when I'm like, that's functional. That's functional. You know? When well, you look a man, like a dude. Fine. You know? That's yeah. fine. It works. What's your favorite place to shop for clothes? Can well, now work? I've been in New York a few months doing oh. the podcast. There's a place called Bolton's. Mm. Um, it's for ladies. Do you know okay. what I mean? Um, it's on the Upper West Side. It's pretty dowdy, which is more my speed. Yeah. I would um, think you'd like some Chico's every now and then. Chico, I do like a Chico. Sometimes the patterns freak me out. They got those stretch pants. I'm not a big, I'm not just a sweats. Uh-huh. I went to, uh, I was in Venice yesterday. Oh my. On uh, Abbott Kenny Boulevard. Of course, yeah, yeah. And, um, I was the only mullet on the block. Sure. Which is always upsetting. Were you but, interviewing people? No, I was just going to shop. And mm-hmm. there was a place called Aviator Nation. Okay. They wanted 150 bucks for a fucking hoodie. Yeah. Do you know this company with like the rainbows? It makes it look like it's a hipster vintage 1980s. What the I, fuck? I don't. I don't. It, it sounds like teenage wear though. No, it's not. Apparently everybody wear. They're very soft though. They're, they're looks. Yeah, but here's the thing with these, this hipster you have to wear. Blow. Are you going to wheeze now? No, I'm, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm torturing you. This is ridiculous. You're not torturing me. Fucking I didn't even see the cat. Okay, good. But you know what they don't tell you is a lot of these clothes are for hipsters. But the material is so thin. These t-shirts are so thin. And yeah. It's like, for a dad bod, you need structure. Like, oh, I, that's I'm interesting. Not, I'm not yeah, dad bod does Kleenex need structure. T-shirt. Because right. you know, <laughs> nothing about that is flattering. If it's too close to the outline of the yeah. body, I find that with like, you know, velour, like the juicy jumpsuits. Those are, they're too snug. Too snug. Do you like uh, Victoria's Secret? Those, those, what is it called? The lingerie and shit? No, the... Um, Spanx? No. Okay. What's the, what's the... What's the sweatpants thing that they have? I don't know what they have. They have sweatpants? Yeah. And Victoria's Secret? There's a word on the, on the, the OEC on the... That says, fuck me? No. Oh, because that would be more apt, right? I mean, just be like, up the butt. What is that? Oh, I forgot it. But there's okay. a, they have a brand that's like a popular sweatshop. Oh, really? I, I would, I would you use... say sweatshop? I think no, you said sweatshop. It's a popular sweatshirt. sweatshop. Those Cambodian kids well, make might... nice clothing. But what is the brand? Anyways, okay. they have the same thing. I thought you might like that. No, too. I don't. Okay. I don't. When I when I have a man a gentleman caller over, sure. I am. Um, Who was your last gentleman caller? Oh man, he was a, a Hispanic drummer. Okay, 
Wow. Yeah, I right. get specific. And you met him at a band. I mean, no, I didn't go to a show. No, I met him online. I mean, online. Met him online. I met him online. What's your app of choice? Oh, God, there are too many. I'm Christian an okay Engel? Cupid. No, no, no. The, the religious zealots, you know what I mean? I'm a pantheist, right. so then they hear that I Another good I love I, <laughs> Another good I love word. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, sure. but I also like the Buddha. I like Osho. Did you see Wild Wild Country? Oh, what a fun spot that was, right? Fun. Yeah. I have not heard of Osho. Uh, Osho? No. Oh, you have to see Wild Wild Country. Do you know? Oh wait, you yes, know the guru this is a documentary. Yeah, yes. the guru Osho. And they took over a town. They took over a town yes. and they just fucked and screamed and like and made they all merry. Were like bright colors, like bright red or bright orange. Or they something. were. I thought you were making a racial, racially no. tinged. They were all no. bright colors. <laughs> there was like a color to their. <laughs> yeah, wardrobe. I guess. I, yeah, it was like well, it was like pink, I think, or mauve. I don't yes, know. Yes, there was yes, something yes, like that. Yes, all those yes, Buddhist, yes. you know, Buddhist yes. tangerine. I have a. I talked about this in my last show. I just had a live show at the Comedy Cellar. Oh, which I was saw amazing. You saw clips. Yeah, so. Well so, done. Thank you. I have a child of a. T- I'm a professional baby surrogate. I think you know that. Um, a professional baby. Baby surrogate. Yeah, I carry babies oh, for baby people. Sur- right, so, so I have one Tibetan child that I'm grooming to be oh, the next Dalai Lama. Oh, oh my. Because nobody fucking checks that shit, and he tours like a motherfucker. And so, have you already had the child? Yeah, yeah. The child's like four now. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, I'm gonna and change his name. His groom- name is Peter now. I'm gonna change it like Zen Chan. You know what I mean? Something Tibetan. Oh, sure. How did you groom it? Did well, you, just you don't need to groom. Word that he was the yeah, next I'm teaching Dalai him Lama. words like compassion. Mindfulness sure, retreat sure, workshop. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Throwing yeah. in words like yeah, um, yeah. Uh, workshop. That's a that's workshop a retreat. Word. Retreat is good. Yeah, and the yeah. mindfulness. Just and anytime mindfulness. you throw some mindfulness, you know, love. How is he responding to it? He's great. I mean, I yeah. went to Michael's uh, the Arts and Crafts. I got like a tangerine robe. Sure. Um, it does have a, they only had one with like a fuchsia lining, but I, I don't think anybody That's knows. That's all right. Don't know. And it, when the Dalai Lama himself, he's older now. Right. And he, they found him when he was like, what, like two minutes old? They're like, he's. You know, Dolly, he's the Dolly Lump, so they're, they're not going to say to my kid, no, you're not. And you wonder what the selection process was for that. Exactly. It's not like there was a, you know, a Ted GRE. Right, right. A DLE. Right. You know what I mean? So are you putting ads out that he's this... Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. He's okay. going to make like an appearance. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Maybe show up at like a music festival. Oh, wow. I'll wheel him in. You know what I mean? Like something big with like a lot yes. of carnations. They like carnations. Yes. And maybe do like a, a daily devotional that he wrote. Or yeah, actually like you that. wrote, but then you say yeah. he wrote it. Yeah, that's that's true. I may have to get a Tibetan uh, scholar to chime in. Now, are you going to give him a certain name or are you just going to adopt the dog? I think we that? might do an online Instagram poll. Oh, okay. I think those polls are fun. Sure. And I think they might increase my followers. I'm kind yeah. of low on followers. Are okay. you follow me, Tony? I mean, I, I, I took Instagram and look, I took Instagram and Twitter off my phone. I haven't. Why'd my, you do that? Because you're it's a too big distracting. famous dude. It's too distracting for How me. How many followers do you have on on Instagram? Uh, I mean, Jesus, Tony, all these people are waiting for you to I, say something. Can you say something now? I mean, what the fuck? I will prove to you. I don't have it here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, um, I th- maybe... Do you have it on your laptop? No. I, you, I'm my so wife sorry to all you people waiting for some it's word. Mr. Tony Hale is my tag. I know that. Well, who cares now? If you're not posting anything, nobody gives a shit. I know. I even took my app store off because I didn't want to That's fine. It. I agree with that. What is that? Is that from your animated show? Yeah, that's from my... That's that's uh, Archibald and... The, Can I show the, people this? Yes. This and is this a, is your animated series. That's coming out. Oh, my God. On Netflix? On Netflix. Amazing. And he's a very present chicken. Your your child, your yeah. Tibetan child, yes. would love him. Peter Chan Chan. Peter. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. That's that's not politically incorrect. It doesn't even sound Tibetan. Um, what is a good Tibetan name? Um. Well, Dalai Lama is always good. Okay, maybe I'll just do that. DL 2.0 or you something. You could go Dalai Lama. You can maybe. Dalai Lama Junior. Do they have juniors and seniors? Oh, that's a good idea. I have Lama Scooter Junior, Scooter Senior. I have. Uh, How many children do you have? Thirty four. I burped. There it is. I burped. Okay. Now we're good. You didn't eat anything. I did. Well, I ate earlier. I went to a coffee shop. People here are very friendly, in a in a, not in a southern uh, passive aggressive way. Like, hey, honey, but they're friendly in like if you're too intense, they're gonna punch you. Do you know oh, what I mean? It's like a sounds like New York. It's like an aggressive hippie. No, in New York they're just not friendly. Period. Do you know uh-huh. what I mean? Uh huh. I can't explain it. Like they're like they're like Heston like. Hi. Yeah, like they're testing you out. Right oh thing? my god. Open the window. Can we we can go outside? No, let's I'm just gonna open this window. All right, Tony is having an allergy attack. No, I uh, we're all good. We're all good. I'm just gonna open this I window. entered this home illegally and um Well you know what? These are but this is kind of the danger of it, which is kind of fun. Okay, okay. Right, if we great. have some sort of cardiac arrest, we're just gonna throughout. open that window so I can get some more air. Okay. Do you wanna sit by the window? Um yeah, maybe I'll sit behind you. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's do that. This is good. This is fantastic. I'm just gonna shift the the camera. 
This is now. This is like nice, kind of. Is lifetime, that better? This is lifetime movie lighting. Okay, look at that. Look I, at that I don't. Just, I don't look that good today. Look at me. I feel. I am really aging. Look at. I need to move these up. See these. See these. This is what I need. Move back like that. Oh, there's so much. Look at that on this face. You talking about me? No, me. Oh, you look really handsome. Now, you, you are hot. Do you want to uh, prop that up so you don't have to hold it? Why don't I like holding it. It's like toys. I'm a DP. Oh. You know what I mean? Are we still... Uh, have you ever dated a DP? No. Are they fun to date? Uh, I mean, are I you trying know. to promote one for my... Ooh, that air feels good, guys. Oh, good. I'm not going to lie. Oh, gee, take your hat. I want to see your punning. That's what the Jew said. Look at you. Look how handsome he is. Oh, look at that. So wait, you have a long... Okay. <clears throat> Jesus fuck. I know, I know. I, now I feel bad. No, don't feel bad. It's actually... For my illness, I'm making you I'm just adjust. looking like it's like a 1950s, like, <laughs> let's... At the soda shop. Um, what... You hear hey, the birds? Can you hear the birds here in L.A.? Probably not, because I want to make sure the mic is... Caring is cool. Isn't this a neat t-shirt? No, it makes me nauseous. It's too <laughs> preachy. Uh, I hate all this, like, we, we, women power, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, women yeah, power yeah, is yeah, a yeah. tank top, nipples out. However, with the, with the Dalai Lama... Too, you we gotta merch to, it up. You might have to get used to all the yeah, you're right. all the nice things to say because people are gonna be posting them on their Instagram and it's gonna be coming from you. Fuck, I might have to hire like a nice, oh, youthful, you innocent. I can't. I'm too. I'm positive and I love people, of course. but I also say it like it is, and I think that too much reality in this world is devastating. It is devastating. You know what I mean? But you could hire like a ghost inspirational writer. Yeah, maybe I'll, you they want to do that to for know. me. Sure. Are you okay? So let me. I want to talk about you for a minute. I love that you like talking about me. It's interesting because I've met a lot of celebrities in my life. Mm -hmm. Not that many. Mm -hmm. um, and I always feel so... I know. Hold on. No, we're good. We're no, good. wait. I just want to move it. <laughs> Let's look at the ceiling. Hold this is going to be the most professional video ever shot. Okay. Look at that. What just fucking happened? Wheeling over here. Okay. There's the device. Great. H5. Um. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Uh, my back's out. Uh, it? No, it's fine. It's a good stretch. In LA, okay. I'm walking. So if I have one of those uh, odometer, you know, sure. the speed, the speed, the step counter. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And in New York, I'm clocking in like 20,000 steps a day. Wow. I clocked in five here yesterday. Yeah. Literally five fucking steps to the car. I know. And back. I know. However. Do you work out? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I just started running. Okay. But I actually have gotten to a place where I enjoy being in the car. Because I'm in the car so much right. that I kind of listen to music and kind of chill out because I fought it for so long and then I'm like, meh. Yeah, it's relaxing. Nice, yeah, it's, it's a nice little sanctuary. don't get aggravated. Do you have a good books on tape? I tried those. I, I haven't just been listen able to... to music. Okay, what kind of music do you like? I like folk music. Okay. Um, do you like country? I like some country. I like Little Big Town. Okay. What Do you like country? I, I'm more of a, like a bluegrass. Sure. You know what I mean? I, the, the new country, the new pop stuff. I would think stuff. you like Kid Rock, too. No, I don't. No, no don't. people think that. Okay. We had intercourse once. Oh, wow. Um, is he one of those? No, 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 no. Okay. Hey, kid. How's it going? Um, oh, wow. You, okay, you start, did your career start with Arrested Development? I did a lot of commercials. Okay. Um, in New York, and then like way theater that wasn't even near Broadway. Okay. And then... Like in Weehawken, New Jersey kind of yeah, shit? just like way okay. off, 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 off. Okay. So you were living in New York at I the time. I was living in New York, lived there for eight years. Did you go to acting school? Yeah, I went to the Barrow Group. Okay. And I really liked them a lot. And then the audition for Arrested Development came and that's what brought us out to LA. Oh, uh, so you were already married? Ten days before we got married, the show got picked up. Oh my God. So yeah. you auditioned for Arrested in New York? Yes. And did they put you on tape and then you had to fly out here or what? Yeah, and they put you on tape and back then they have your tape sent. Oh my God, like a FedEx? Yeah. On uh, a Betamax or and what? It was nowhere near like, you know, what they do now. But it was like right. a longer process and all that. And then out So here, you were a new face, really? I was a new face. Yeah. That's amazing. And it was great and kind of overwhelming. But we've been out here for 16 years. You've been on for 16 fucking yeah, years? because I moved here in... Well, wow. I was 16, yeah, because I moved here in 2003. So did it? How long did it take until it had like a cult following? Well, it it took a while. Our ratings were never good. Fox really didn't have to keep us around because our ratings were very good. But the press kept us alive because they liked. It us. was critically acclaimed. Yeah. And was Jason Bateman nice from the get go? Very nice. Very nice. Or was it hard to like become buddy buddies with everybody? Like was it more of we everybody all... goes home and does like come to sit and then goes home? Um. Yeah. I mean, there was a there was some of that, but they were very nice. Okay. Um. And so yeah. Who was on it? Also, Jeff, Jeffrey? Jeffrey Tambor and okay. Will Arnett. Oh, Will Arnett. Right, right, right. Portia de Rossi. Hey, what happened to her? She stopped acting, didn't she? 
I know. I think she's she just doing, like a good uh, wife and just kind of hanging yeah, out. She's kind of doing. The, she's doing some art thing. Oh, good for like, her. She's um, hot. Yeah, I like her. Very, very, very nice and very pretty. And then Alia Shawcott and Michael Sarah. Okay. Wow. Right. 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 Um, David Cross. Yes. Um, he seems feisty. He's really a cool guy. He I'm just sure. had a baby. Oh, his first baby. This is his first baby. Oh my him god. And Amber. That's the thing with men. They can do it. He's what, like fifty? Yeah, he's probably. Yeah, I think. And he's he can like, still yeah. fucking pop yeah. it out. Yeah. I, I'm from an evolutionary perspective. I don't know why that is. I'm why do men? Why are men able to still? You know what I mean? Procreate because at fifty, they're tired. Yeah. Well, it's also it's a lot, I think, to have a child at that age. Yeah, and then you become more of a grandpa than a dad. You it's know what just, I mean? Kids are exhausting, as you know. You oh, I know, I know, honey. But I started having them young. You Do know you what keep I mean? Keep in touch with all thirty-four. Yeah, I mean, I've lost track. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're so you all... don't have to cap keep up with their birthdays and stuff. Like oh, that. fuck that! No, no I'm not a big know. birthday person anyway. I feel like uh -huh. time goes back and forth. So yeah. why I'm not big on like the dates, the holidays, right. the anniversary? Like, who gives a shit? Uh huh. Have are you a big anniversary guy? Uh, anniversary, yeah. Birthday, not so much. Like, is your wife expecting things on the anniversary? Not really. But we'll kind of go out and, like, this year coming up will be our... When is this year coming up? What'll be our 16th? What? Oh, okay. right, right, right. Yeah. It's like Arrested Development. In May, yeah. Um, did you find that character uh, stretched you, or do you kind of fall into a groove... And then it just like you can phone it in, like it's just about the right. You know what I mean? Like it's about the writing, I think and it's you can about just the writing. I mean, they kind of they they kind of made him out to be a man child, and okay, very panic stricken. And then with the writing, you hear, oh, you know, he dates Liza Minnelli. That's interesting. And his that Liza, interesting. and Liza Minnelli's name is Lucille, which is also the name of his mother. So he has massive mother issues. And right. Kind of right. learn about him as you. Um, and then, like his hands eaten off as a seal with a by his hand was eaten off by a seal. I didn't know that. I'm not as well versed with the show as I should be. It's I'm sorry. Please, it's a crazy show. But like how he dealt with that, he was kind of disassociated. Because he had a lot going on in his body. Is it true? Is it is it a fair assessment that in TV, I guess in episodic TV, the character doesn't change? It's just the we know the character, and then it's how the character deals with different situations, as opposed to like a movie yeah. where the character has some sort of growth from beginning, middle, to end. I think there's definitely growth in TV, but I, what I like about it is you can kind of stay in that world for a little longer. Okay. You know, I think you're right. I think the trajectory of a character is probably quicker in a movie, right. whereas on a series, it can the growth happens over the course of like 13 episodes. Was the shooting schedule hard on your marriage, or is it pretty like did it cause any issues, or no? It was just nice to have a paycheck coming in and everything think, was fine. <laughs> I think it's always something you got to work on. My wife was a makeup artist. Okay. Did she work on the show? No, she worked at SNL. Oh, right on. And that's and we met in New York. Um, but I think you always got it. Like, if you're traveling, you always have to be... Make the phone call. Make phone, but also kind of travel back and not go longer than two weeks. But the, thankfully, arrested shot here. Okay. Veep shot here. But then the first four years was in Baltimore. So we had to really be intentional about traveling back and forth. Okay. And then you guys communicated well on that. Yeah. And, and Skype. The sad thing is, I remember when my daughter was born, we would uh, Skype. and she You tried, weren't there when your daughter was born? Or no, you I, were? Was, I was there. But after after... When she was like one or so, okay. we were Skyping, she tried to hug the screen. Oh no, that's heartbreaking. So that was that. And then she, she'd kind of look behind the computer to see if I was there. Like stuff like that, you're like, oh, I'm going to go kill myself. No, but then you realize they forget about that shit anyway. She has no idea about yeah, it. Yeah, like I have certain kids that I didn't see until they were like four. Oh wow. Because my other kids just took care of them. You know what I mean? Like after a certain number of kids, you do start phoning it in. Talk to anybody yeah, with yeah. three kids even. Yeah, yeah, First yeah. First kid's like, ooba dooba doo boo. Second kid, you're not excited if they're running or walking. It doesn't even exist. No, they're whatever. It's a, it's a, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, but, have they tried to find you? Have any of them tried to find you? Like no, they're all in my under my care. They're all, I don't. Oh. oh, I think I understand. What happens is with my surrogacy clients is some of them back out mid pregnancy because we do it on a handshake. It's not a legal legally binding oh, you agreement. Don't sign anything. I don't like legal bullshit. Why spend money on attorneys? And sure. so some people back out. So I'm left with the child. Oh, so wow. I have all these children. They're part of my. We have like a compound. It's like oh, a trait. Yeah, compound. yeah. It's like traits. It's a motor home, but it's like they're arranged in like a in like a trapezoid. Wow. So you have to you. Um, I do take care and support. You support all. Yeah, those but they children. all work. I always believe there's trade schools for very young kids. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. a believer in the liberal college bullshit. Right. Did you go to a liberal art? You went. To, was it acting school? The undergrad. No, I studied journalism. Okay, and you know and what I mean. I, like okay. Yeah, and that didn't do it. Like, look at me. I've no. And I've got a hit podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um. See how that works? So oh, I'm just going to arrange that. Um, this angle, though, this lighting is too harsh. I can't. I'm not a vain person, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, Look I mean, at that. I know. This, uh, there you go. That's you a more attractive face. 
There it is. <laughs> Look at the piano. It's very artsy. It's like we're doing a period piece. Where's Kira Knightley when you need her? Right? You know what I mean? Do you play piano? No. I play a little. Do you? No. No. Do you? No. I'm not instrumentally inclined. I'm that guy that'll buy... I mean, like, I bought a keyboard wanting to learn, and then it's just sat there. I yeah. Need, I need to, like... It's like me in the gym. Oh. I have memberships, and then I go and just use the steam room. That's how and, they And you. grade women's titties. Wow. I yeah, do that. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. they don't know it. I will stare, and then uh -huh. sometimes my mouth will be like, five, not intentionally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, But yeah, usually yeah, it's yeah. lower than a five. yeah. I think, is that where you meet a lot of your community, your friends? <laughs> no, 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 I just no, no. stare. I'm like the creepy voyeur. It's fun, though. It is fun. Why not? Gay men do it. Why can't straight don't you wanna, bisexual women do don't it? Don't you want to just sit and just stare at people all day long? I do. Yeah, That's yeah. not want. I do. Especially in New York, like my guy. And it's okay to stare. Nobody gives a shit what you do in New York. It's kind of insane. And you also want a kid to hear, what are you guys talking? Like, what's right. in, what are you talking about? Yeah. And you probably walk up and say, what are you talking no, about? No, I just listen to chime in. Yeah, You yeah, know, yeah. I interject. Because yeah. they usually have information to provide yeah. in these circumstances. You know what does bug me, though, is when you're at a restaurant and people are sitting too close to you. And then you can hear, yeah. especially if they're talking about deep stuff, and it's like... It's uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, watch your voice modulation. Cause, I mean, and don't I, have a personal conversation when I'm trying to eat ribeye. And I, and I appreciate having a person to share with, but you realize you're sharing with a restaurant. Yeah, that no, that's true. Is it? But LA has more space, I guess. There's not that many cozy restaurants. Yeah, more more space. There's a lot more space, but New York, man. No, New York is tough. Is Every restaurant tight. is like a crevice. It's yeah. like a, in someone's anus. Yeah. How are we doing on the levels here? We are good. I think we're good. I'm very... Oh, here I am. Don't worry. Don't worry. You thought I was gone, but I'm not. Um, my teeth look white, though. Uh, and then your friend and I, Iris and I... Yes. Um, we did a movie together. Oh, that was Larry the Cable Guy Health yeah. Inspector. In 2006, right after Arrested Development. Oh, right after you got cast, or right after the season? No, right after. Oh, uh, maybe we shot it, maybe the last year of Arrested, and then it came out after Arrested. Okay, and was it a good movie? I didn't see it. Um, yeah, I think okay. it was. I mean, I was think. I think it was. It, it, it was fun. It was fun. It's with what's his name, Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable Guy, and Iris was real lovely. Oh, good. He's delightful. And we just kind of—I uh, don't remember much of it, honestly. But it was shot in Florida. I remember that. In, yes, yeah, Orlando. yeah, Orlando or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you guys didn't run into each other down there. <laughs> I fucking Orlando's an armpit. Oh, I God love help. Florida. You, well, I like Miami, but Orlando's not for me. You don't I, like Miami? No, it's not that. It's not that I like. I shot a movie down there, and I do like Miami, but it was we shot it all in South Beach, and so oh, that's too cheesy. And it was kind of like Vegas on a beach. Yeah, and the the the, um, the fake titties are different in Miami. I feel mm. like I feel like maybe the women they do more salsa dancing and merengue over there, mm -hmm. so they want firmer fake, and mm. ends up looking faker. Now they've gotten mm. pretty good at like saline injections. I don't know. Maybe this does not interest you, but as someone who's fascinated by the mm. human bosom. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The saline injections, I suppose, the silicone look a lot more natural. Well, a lot of women are having them taken out. Apparently. Because I feel like there's something about it's hurting immune systems or something. Does it, though? I don't know. Enough people don't know. put other shit. They're, like, pumped up on antidepressants. Have you ever um, taken an antidepressant? No. No? I've taken anti... I, I've, a couple of years I've taken anti-anxiety, and that helped, yeah. It did help? Mm -hmm. And it functions as an antidepressant, I guess, too. Isn't that a perk? I think so. So, I don't really, I'm sure, yeah. Okay, maybe, but yeah. then you're able to get off of it. Yeah. You're like, I'm done. Yeah. And do you go through like a withdrawal phase? Or like anxiety about the anxiety medication going off? Uh, like what's going to sure happen? I'm sure I did. It was a while ago, but I remember like you'd feel zaps in your head when you were really? kind of going off. Yeah. It was oh, interesting. weird zaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like your brain's trying to rewire going, yeah. dude, what are you doing? You brought yeah, some yeah, assistance yeah. in, now you're taking it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Um, so after arrested, yes. how long between that and Veep? Probably, I would say a good four or five years. And was that a happy four or five years for you? Or was it like, I need another hit? No, it was hard. It, it was, was hard, hard right? It's, it's like always, panic at the disco. I think it's because we're always gig to gig. Yeah. And um, I remember right the month after uh, Arrested was, no, I'm sorry, the same month we bought our house, had my daughter, Arrested was canceled. Oh, Jesus. And I was like, and then I think right after that, the, the market dropped. Okay. And so it was, there was there was some it was some tough tough yeah, times yeah um, but you know you get very the weird thing is you learn how to stretch your money right um, it's gig to gig people a lot of my friends are have nine to five you know they have kind of okay they don't understand kind of the freelance but when you've been doing it for so long yeah. you get very used to the yeah of course almost. yeah you do you kind of enjoy it don't you there's something nice there that you're like yeah. okay I'm flexible I'm in power you know you're in control but you're not in control yeah it does hit a point sometimes like during those seasons you're like ooh. 
are we gonna have to sell our house? You know, right. you, you don't yeah. know what's Yeah, well, without the consistent happen. income, yeah, of course. I guess the best idea is to be an actor and then marry like a hedge fund manager. Mm. You know what I mean? Or an attorney. Yeah, yeah. Like a divorce attorney. There are always a lot of divorces in L.A., it seems, so that would be a yeah. lucrative business, right? And it's, it's it's sometimes if there's two people that are traveling a lot, it's tough to... Then the marriage is out. It's hard. Then it's got to be an open marriage. That's what I tell my friends. I'm like, mm. if you guys are both traveling, just make it an open marriage. Mm. Read that polyamory that, manual and just do it. I think that sounds really hard. I know, but, you know, it's, I don't know what the alternative is. A lot of people go off and don't see each other for a while. They either end up splitting up or yeah, cheating. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm all for it. Yeah, it's yeah. inevitable. You know, how much Skype sex can you have? But then you think, don't get married. Exactly. That's true, too. But I guess once you're already married... And you end up going down that trajectory. Look, it's not for everybody. Right, right, I know right, a few right. people. I couldn't do it. I mean, I, I'm just too needy or clingy to be with someone who's traveling all so the time. So there was never a guy of the 34 children that you were like, hmm, I could see a future with this guy. I c- could, but I'm not very good at relationships. Uh-huh. Intimacy is not my forte. Uh-huh. So when I things start... I that is. I don't know, but... Um, I think that once things get a little uh, habitual, uh-huh. I'm like, boring them out. Sure. Let's bring How it was, up. What was your dad like? He was just non-existent. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't really yeah, yeah. know. I think I have, deep down, I have a resentment towards men. Sure, yeah, You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Um, at least you're aware of that. Yeah, I mean, at least. I think awareness, yeah. they say awareness is the first step, and I'm like, can we get to the second step, please? Yeah. You know what I mean? Can yeah, we please yeah, kick yeah. it up a peg and maybe to the third step of, like, yeah. healing and actual functionality? Yeah. And also kind of feeling it. Like, when you're in it, many times you might go to the other partner just because you don't want to feel the feelings that yes, are coming up. Yes, it's that, yes. And you got to sit in and feel them. That's hard. Yeah, being alone. You know, I think people, yeah. I think the big, biggest uh, uh, problem with American society is that running away from the, 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 the fear of being alone or unhappiness, sure. right? Sure. It's that we're culture addicted to happiness and yeah. got to be happy and we use all these escape mechanisms. And got to be stimulated. Stimulated, right. You were just motioning to the phone there, yes, for a minute. Yeah, because like, you know, you always go, what's on the phone? What's texting? It's an what's escape it? from being with yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Which and, is why and the fact that we're spinning on a planet and nobody wants to acknowledge that we're all going to die soon. I know, that's scary too. When I really think about Earth... Yeah, we're when I go big, planet. when I go big on Earth, and I'm like, we're tiny. We're like a tiny dot on a tiny what's planet. What's your idea of God? Oh God, we're really just diving. I was going to ask you about Veep, and now we're talking about God. I don't know what's more interesting. Maybe Veep. I don't know. Um, my, oh God. I talk about Veep too much. We can talk about. Do God. you? Okay. Okay. That data. Oh, there's something behind it. <laughs> what? 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 I thought there was. I didn't realize there was something behind the phone. Oh yeah, I, I am. was like, that's data by it's itself. Magic. There's okay. my finger. See my fingerprint? There it is. Hi. I have a great thumb. Look at that beautiful thumb. It looked like it was damaged. Um, I want to see. You're you're the star here. No. Caring is sharing. What does your fucking t-shirt say? I, I, I saw this. Watch the my, mic, though. Watch the mic. Oh, right, right. My friend's kid had this. It's mm-hmm. called Caring is Caring is Cool. And I was like, oh, I like that. Okay. So Growing kids up to be pussies just Rhett, the way we like it. Rhett and Link, these, this, this, like, YouTube, these guys, friends of mine, they, they made it. Anyways, they make it. On. Okay. No, oh, I like it. You can plug friends. Oh, that's good, Wade. <laughs> that's good. You look great. Man, that like You are luminous. Face. I'm like... <laughs> I have not a line Let's just look at... Can, can we just do the rest of the interview like this? <laughs> Let's just do that. Let's just talk right to camera. Oh, goodness. Welcome to my home. This is HGTV. <laughs> uh, you too can own a home like this with look our that, pyramid scheme. Wash. Yeah, I know. Is that blown out? That's a DP no-no, right? The blown out window? However, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't. It has a magical quality to it. I always feel like... When I'm watching a tragic movie mm-hmm. and they flash back to before the tragedy, there's always some weird sunlight streaming in through the window, mm. and I feel like it's just a fake lamp in a studio. What's your favorite movie? Oh, like if you God. had, to, I'm not favorite. If you had to pick a top three, top three Groundhog Day. Sure. Um, I did like Russian Doll. Speaking of Groundhog Day, did you see Russian Doll? No. Oh, let's talk about it when you see it because it's fucking amazing. Okay. Um, uh, I like Groundhog Day. I liked, uh, oh, wow, I don't know. Now, naming movies. I mean, I like Scarface. That's sure. a funny one. Sure. That's a festive one. Um, so you like you like a heavy, well, Groundhog Day. Groundhog's not, not Scar- super heavy. But Scarface is. Bill Murray's amazing. See, I feel like. He's, I'm, only, he's yeah. only got a voicemail, doesn't he? He's only got like a, what is the thing, like the only way to contact him is. Is there's a, a flip phone or like snail it's mail? It's like he has a voicemail and I think his lawyer checks it, but he doesn't have any agents or anything. Wow. Like that. He has, like, one and he lives like in Vermont call. in a cabin or something? Is it Bill Murray I'm thinking about? I yeah, think I think so. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love him. I'm so scared that if I ever meet Bill Murray and he's not friendly, I will literally slit my wrists. <laughs> Because certain people I discover they're like assholes. I'm like, that's okay, even though I'm disappointed. Mm. But Bill Murray, I really feel like. And I would think there's a lot of trust issues there. You know, because. With like, mine or with him? With him. Yeah, Just, I'm sure. Like, not knowing where people are coming from and all yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff. Fame is weird though because 
You want me to get on a soapbox about fame? Please do for a minute. So I think our society, like every, I think everybody wants to be known. Everybody wants to be seen. And they look at fame as the ultimate being known, but it's actually the opposite. So if you look at someone like Brad Pitt, right? you take him and then you take a guy who's working in Birmingham, Alabama at the you know, 7-Eleven. I think this guy in Birmingham, he's more known than Brad Pitt because anything that's given to this guy in Birmingham, Alabama, whether it be a hello or a gift or an encouragement or word, it's all free. It's all like, you know, it's just given. Whereas Brad Pitt, there's always strings attached. He's isolated. He pretty much has to live on a compound because he doesn't trust anybody. Right. So that person in Alabama is more known than Brad Pitt. What do you mean by more known, though? I think it's more... Maybe there's more authenticity in his interactions. Yes. I don't know about more known. You so, mean... like, if, if somebody wants to get to know me and know Oh, I, I get am, what you're saying. Yeah. If somebody wants to know me and, and feel yes. known, it's... it's if I'm, it's free if there's not so many strings attached as there was Brad, like he's going to do something for me. Right. To be his friend, it looks, you know, it's all that stuff. Well, I feel like every time I've tried to interact with a celebrity, um, they always wonder if I have an agenda and then it becomes an awkward interaction. But a lot of these celebrities started out as narcissists too. I mean, you know what I mean? So I feel like part of it, I can't tell if they're just enclosed for self-protection or they're maybe so self-involved they really don't have interest in anything else. That's not outside their circle. And Both. also just no trust. Like, there's yeah. no, they yeah. don't know what Or they can't be bothered. Maybe, but it, maybe they also have motives. Like, if this person can't contribute to my well-being, why would I even talk to them? Sure. But I feel like maybe, do you agree that maybe the celebrities that live in New York have more interest in just being part of society and interacting? Like, I see Alec Baldwin on the streets every day, walking with his hot yoga wife and his 19 kids. I think there's definitely probably a more of an anonymity yeah, or that just happens. like nobody is oh, that enamored. Are you getting... I don't know, man. I feel like maybe it's a sty. I don't know. Is it the cats? I don't know. I'm not allergic to cats. Oh. I'm allergic to certain um, species of gerbil, but that's it. Are you? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, one wow. species. It's like a very, like a rare, mm. spe- gorgeous gerbil, though. Really? Yeah, like a really lean, fit <laughs> gerbil. Like when they run on the treadmill, you're like amazed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I, I've I've, I feel like lean I feel like I've maybe blown out our recording. Good no, lord, you have much exciting. lower voice than me, though. That's the fucking thing. Hold on, I'm gonna lower my. It's very sensitive, mic. Talk to me a little bit, Tony. Testing, testing, testing. See now, when you do that, it's up on negative eighteen. We're supposed to be negative twelve, negative six. Uh, How's my chin? Okay, I can't fucking take this angle. Jeez, I'm just. I'm you have no. You look great. Thanks, thanks. I just need you for a little, little <laughs> validation. So we can't talk about Veep at all. Yeah, we can talk about. I Veep. mean, for like two minutes, we won't go off into oh, that. Oh, I don't care. We can talk about Veep. I I'll recap Veep. Veep. Really funny. Loved it. She's fine with the cancer. And next, is that good? Are we? Did we recap it's everything? The last, we just shot the last, last season. season. It was very sad. Okay. Um, it's gonna. She's still in the campaign trail. Okay. My character is just as ne- neurotic and codependent. Okay. Talk about growth in a character. There's been no growth in my character probably for the past seven years. Is that a bummer a little bit? No, because it's fun. Like, okay. I, I, if anything, he's just. He's, well, you're like the clown in a way, yeah. right? Or they all kind of clowns. I was called clowns. the bitchy mime on the, the show. The bitchy mime. That's hot. And so, thank you. Yeah. But I think he just gets worse and worse. So maybe there is a growth, but it's a decline. So okay. Yeah. Um, but she, Julia Louise Dreyfus is fine with her cancer. Like she's, she's fine. She's doing knock great. Knock on sofa that I don't own. She's doing great. Good, good. And she That's handled good. it with all a plum. humor and and strength yeah. and community and all that stuff. That's nice. I feel like maybe people. I can't tell though. Maybe people in comedy, since they don't take themselves as, as seriously in life, um, then maybe they have more of a community and friendly, and they're not as precious about everything as opposed to like the big Angelina Jolies of the world. Well, I think about. It. I think Julia Sweeney was just doing a show here at the Geffen, and didn't she have a whole show on her cancer? No, or did she? Like that? I don't yeah. know. I know Tig Notaro did. Yeah, right when she. she I had think her... there's power in bringing humor into it and being like, you gotta yeah. find some jokes in it, or you're just no, you know, you're right. No, I just mean in up. general, comedic actors like the comedic oh. actors on TV, they're less precious about themselves. So mm. in terms of their celebrity, they're probably maybe they're friendlier. But then I hear stories about Chevy Chase being a complete dick. So I don't know. Why the hair in my fucking face? <laughs> That thing just wants to get in there. <laughs> I'll be over here, and it'll just creep in into my mouth hole. <laughs> these pillows, I got to complain to the anonymous owner of this house. No, I'm kidding. These are fantastic. Know, it's a lovely so, house, by I the so way. I admire that you just... It's amazing. This house in. is actually stunning. Um, I like to go for the eccentric, but they have a, a record collection with, like, Nina Simone here, and they have really cool artwork. And look at this bookcase. I have some anxiety about being here, but... 
I'm just going with Well, it. I think they're fine. I think we left the windows open, and if we hear the gate, um, we'll just tell them that we're delivering packages, and we're just want, we're looking lo- for a good place to place them. It's a lovely, like, you really picked a good location. I did, I did, and they have this, this, this Kranich and, and Batch, Bach, Bach, maybe it's a Bach. It's a Bach. It's a Bach. It's American Slaughter, anything international. Um, this is cashmere, by the way. Oh, is it? It's no. soft, but it's, it's pilling. Uh, Why do sweaters fucking pill? Well, cashmere sweaters, that's not cheap. It's not cheap at all, but I got it used. Uh, There's a website that I've uh, discovered called The Real Real. Oh. And um, TheRealReal.com, and they, they sell secondhand designer shit. Wow. Um, now, I don't buy, like, the Valentinos and everything. Like, that's too much. Sure, sure, But sure. I like a nice cashmere jumper. Of course. As the Brits say, it's a jumper. And Wait, uh, a sweater is a jumper? Yeah, it's a jumper, and a bathing suit's a costume. No. You knew that. Now you're feigning ignorance a little bit. Wait, and I did not know that a, a jumper. bathing suit was a costume. Yeah, of course. That put on your bathing costume. Yeah, that's they don't say bathing suit. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. I mean, of course, they look at us and be like, why are you calling it a suit? Exactly, but they, a, set, a sweater's a jumper. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's good times. Huh. Linguistics with the Brits today with Braylon Casper White. Shorts, something else. We're not, it's not shorts, it's something else. I don't know. I don't wear shorts. Mm. I don't like my legs. Hmm. I like my body, but I don't like my legs, so I don't wear shorts. Hmm. I wear like a, a what do you call them? Pants. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, the, uh, the culottes. They come to here. Culottes, whatever you call. Chico's has got them. Chico. Chico's got that stretch. It's a stretch pant. You're pushing the stretch on me for some reason. They I don't like the stretch. They also got long dangly necklaces. They do. Wear. They have a lot of accessories. A lot of accessories. Those stores in the malls that have nothing but fucking accessories, like yeah. bangles and, yeah. and scrunchies. Let me tell you, a lot of Southern women walk into Chico's and go, that is cute. That is That's that cute. is fun. That's that is a fun, fun. outfit. I love that. I you love that. You miss the South. Tell me you don't miss the South. I love the South. You're in L.A. here. It's very sterile here, isn't it, though, a little bit? Like, sterile. Don't you find L.A. sterile? Like and, and it's Break that down. Okay. Let's, let's unpack it as yeah. my... 15th yeah, yeah. therapist used to say let's unpack this Ray Lynn I'm like I'll fucking unpack you don't charge me $150 for just looking at me right. kindly and nodding your fucking head sorry therapy is overrated um but it's just sterile like everything is not I mean I didn't I'm not talking about Skid Row obviously because the sure. LA has a huge housing uh, homeless or were you situation. saying like kind of a neurosis to be wheat free gluten free no, all that stuff that, that bullshit yeah but I'm talking about I mean it's healthy but it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just the streets are empty void of humans and it's clean, oh. and it's all manicured and gardeny. Yes. And so that's what I mean by sterile. There's not yes. that juice of life. Like, New York is one big pyramid of garbage. Even in, like, right. the rich blocks, you walk, and you're like, okay, these guys pay $19 million for their yeah. two-bedroom, and there's still a garbage pyramid right in front of their fucking apartment. Yes. I just burped again. I'm sorry. That's right. Um, we're just a burping syndrome. Eaten. I know. What you have eaten, you said. <laughs> I don't know what uh, is inside I of you. I don't know. I think it's just air. What did you eat this morning? I had um, a, a bowl of uh, what, Trader Joe's cereal of some sort. Sure. Um, without them trying to be funny, like Trader Giotto's for the Italian and yeah, Trader yeah, Jew yeah. for the yeah. matzo ball soup. Yeah. Do they have Trader Jew or is that too still have honey, honey, honeycomb? Uh, <gasps> honey Nut Cheerios? No, no, those are good. Honeycombs. Honeycombs. I don't think they do. Oh, God, they still have Lucky Charms? Cereals. Yes. My youngins, they like um, they like the uh, the cashy. Yeah. Do you really? like that? Yeah, they like the cashy. I think it just tastes like corrugated cardboard well that's impressive that they like I, yeah i, I don't buy it for them oh no no i get them like the cheapo the, the costco you know the keg do you just <laughs> the do keg you just, of cereal. is it just like a line where you just pour the cereal in a bowl just around your kids in the it's line? just one bowl and i just push them in front and they shove a spoonful and i push the next one over you You're do right. the same with pasta you just like well but no pasta we literally have like a huge a massive bowl i went to um an Ethiopian restaurant once. Sure. And there was it was handheld. The uh-huh. handheld. If you had Ethiopian, it's amazing. So it's handheld. That bread that's done. Yeah, you got like the pita, the sticky yeah. pita, and then you you grab. It's like hungry yes. hippo. Remember yes, that game? Yes. Oh yeah. I love that game. Yeah. Hungry, hungry hippo. We still have it. Um, that uses like a double D battery. You know, they yeah, still yeah, make yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, Mine yeah. are like oozing whatever mercury yeah. into the earth, <laughs> but we still have it. But they. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I'm I'm rambling now about our big bowl of pasta. So I'll buy like 400 boxes of Barilla. I like Barilla. Sure. You know Barilla? Yeah. Uh, I used to like Ronzoni, but I now like Barilla. Who, which child eats the most? Oh, I don't know. That would be, that would be me too involved in their lives. Right, I try not right, to right, helicopter right. parent. You probably need an Air Force to, to helicopter parent yeah. my not children. Have you heard the new parenting term? No. Snow plowing. Oh, Jesus. Because helicopter, you know, you're, you're trying to watch. You're hovering. Yeah. 
uh, snow plowing is you're in front of them tr taking away all of their challenges. Oh, and I might like, do that a little bit. But it's know. like, and I get it as a parent, like you yeah. don't want them to face challenges, but that's how they grow. That's true. I don't know if they grow. Let me, I have a, let me ask you your opinion on this, because I have a couple of kids that are sensitive souls, sure. okay? Yeah. I, they're sensitive. They don't really stand up for themselves, uh -huh. you know what I mean? And yeah. they get bullied a little bit. Uh -huh. Now, I try not to intervene, but I just, my friends are like, I said I want to maybe move them to a different environment where their kids are nicer you yeah, know what i mean yeah, but my yeah, friends yeah. Are like no you got to toughen them up and i'm like that shit doesn't work you cannot toughen a kid up i think a kid that gets bullied just ends up feeling traumatized and yeah. closed off they don't your personality doesn't change you don't toughen up do you believe i don't think i've toughened you know what i mean there's certain things i've been the same way since i was three i don't think facing new challenges maybe it's taught me some coping skills but i think it's done more damage than yeah does that do you agree with that assessment i do agree with that and i think it's the ideal situation is when because inevitably it's going to happen if they have a home base where they feel seen they feel loved yeah. you know so then they can be strengthened when they're home and then deal with it because you can't i can't be at my daughter's school i don't know what's, you don't know what's going on exactly yeah. she in a public school she's in a, a private school a private well, they have more attention there right it's like 10 kids and 17 teachers yeah but it's like middle school is hard man yeah like that's oh like, girls I, are I hard too does she have boobies school. yet um, she's, uh, <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's, she's, she's developing. She's developing. Yeah. Okay. But middle school, I hated middle school. I don't remember middle school. I Seventh had to blur. Rough, but I also moved to a new town. I wasn't into sports in, in South, in the South. If you're know. not into sports, you might as well be dead. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but, you know, they found this theater for me called Young Actors Theater and it just was a huge gift. And was it all gay except you? The whole, the whole theater? Well, I'm saying, is it is it that cliche true that a lot of gay men are attracted to the theater? Or is that just musical theater? I think uh, I think it was a mix. Okay. I just, I don't know. Yeah, People yeah, always yeah. joke. My gay friends are like, it's the, I'm like, is it is that true? Is that like a, I think it's a no, safe it's space for... Because I went back, I, we just had this uh, fundraiser. Oh, you got a text. Oh, Jesus. Um, I don't even know who that is. Uh, is my profile, can you look at my profile and tell me if it's an attractive profile? Do I look old? I think it's a very distinguished profile. It, does that look manly? Is it a handsome profile? Do I look like a man? Um, no, you don't look like a man. Okay. Uh, not at all. Okay, I just don't know. Is it like a coin worthy? If I do these. I also like that you get um, you get your tips frosted. That's a natural frosting. Is it? It's sun. Remember sun in? Yeah. I spritz a little sun in. I used to do I sun use, in. I learned spritz in New York. That's a Jewish term. We used to put term. baby oil on our body too. Carrot oil. Carrot oil is nice. Okay. You know carrot oil? No. They have carrot oil. It's like orange and it makes you look like George Hamilton, but it does the job. Oh, wait. What? There was some, oh, I'm thinking of, um, no, I'm thinking of something else. He's still recording. Okay. <laughs> I could not, I'm glad you're comfortable. Well, I'm this just is, so glad that this, this is the premiere episode for this device. <laughs> Who knows if it's recorded a fucking word? Luckily, we have the, the backup here. Have they explained this to you, like what these are? Um, I try. I had uh, troubleshooting. I got this device yesterday, and I said, I'm interviewing a celebrity like you. I better fucking prepare. Um, it's the guard knife, baby. Oh, God. Don't see. I just They're nodded like I, like I knew that what we were doing here. They're coming home. Um, <laughs> um, I, I knew I interviewed a celebrity. I better fucking figure out this device. And, of course, I could not figure it out. Um, and so I, uh, I, I had a friend, um, help me, yeah. um, and he couldn't figure it out it either. It seems like these are the, these are the Well, those are the, my, but then I purchased these, these Movos. Okay. But these are different quality mics. So one of them is going to pick me, one of us up better. And the other one's going to sound like shit. I'm hoping. But then with these also. Those are not functioning now. The minute I plug these in, these get canceled out. It's a so two track. Why would they have both? These are just, I guess, if I held, if we went back and forth like fucking oh, this. Oh, I see. I you know see, what I mean? I see, but I these see. apparently are supposed to be more delightful. But who knows? It might be shit. Yeah. I feel like the person might be waiting to come in. I think they're... Are they? Are you waiting at the door, love? Do you need to be let in? <laughs> Is she still there? I wonder if she might be calling the police. That's okay. I'm very good with the popo. Are you? Yeah, the five o, the fuzz. Oh, wow. What's your go-to excuse? I just use six. Oh. You know what I mean? Intercourse okay. does heal all ills. Huh. Uh, so if I'm, I would then leave when they got You could here. watch. I don't know what no, your arrangement no, 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 is no. with your wife. I don't, I don't want to watch. But if he does, if they do show up, I might, I might. But you can use your off. celebrity like Reese Witherspoon did. Do you not know who I am? And they'd be like, no. No, no they'll be like, we love, what was your character on Arrested? Buster. Okay, they'd be like, we love Buster. And then like or Veep, what's the kiss her on Veep? Gary. Gary, we love Gary. I don't know, what would, what would they say? Would they say we love Buster, we love Gary? What people know you more for? 
I'd probably get more Buster. You get more Buster. Yeah. That's an iconic character. He was a little detached. Well, he was, like, he was, he was kind of like a... Was he on the like spectrum? A, oh, I'm sure. Okay. But he, like... Uh, but I would even say that. Like, he, really, I think there was some mental illness also happening. Oh, wow. Buster, yeah. But he was also like a cartoon character in life. Would you ever get any flack for maybe making fun of mental illness? No. Okay, so it wasn't like that. No, no, no. Okay. Because no, 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 no. we, we wouldn't want that. No. I get very, I hate that kind of humor. It makes me angry. It actually makes me angry when I saw, what was that movie that the Farrelly brothers made maybe? I don't know. Anything that laughs oh, at mental that? illness or mental handicap, I, I don't know how that people find that fucking funny. It actually makes me upset, but that's just me. Did they do that movie where uh, Gwyneth Paltrow put on a fat suit? I think they got upset because she was just fat, but that's a whole other thing, making fun of fat people. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. But I'm saying the mental handicap, the, the things like that that people that mentally challenged have no control over, I don't know why people find that funny. Yeah. It says, yeah. I, I don't agree. know why they do. I don't know why kids do. I don't even know the bylaw. Is it just a fear? It's fear. It's it fear of fair. like there's weak people in our society. It reminds people of their own mortality, but laughing at the special limit. Like, I'm like, how is that even remotely funny? I feel funny? like, though, that's, I feel like that's changed, though. Like, I don't see a lot of stuff where they're. I hope I don't, that they're laughing. I don't know. I just started watching a fascinating show, Larry Charles' Dangerous World of Comedy. Huh. That's on Netflix. Huh. Do you know, you know Larry Charles? Is Larry the Charles the one that would dress up? No, he's the one who directed Borat. He's got a big yeah, beard. Yeah. Um, and he did also, uh, what else did he direct? He directed uh, the, the Religious, Bill, Bill Maher's thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So he went around the world uh, to examine comedy in dangerous places. Mm. And the episode I watched this morning, because I had jet lag, I was up at 3 a.m., so I flicked my bean and then I watched the show. Sure. Um, which is my usual trajectory. There's a burp again. What the fuck? Um, maybe it's the chai latte I had. Oh, that's a fancy drink for you. Yeah, well, no, I usually do chai latte, dirty chai with oat milk. That was my new beverage of choice. Well, that is It's pretty very pretentious fancy. beverage. It I know. It cost like $15. It was about seven. It's the same. I mean, it's yeah, all yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. LA is just as expensive. Mm -hmm. It's not cheaper here. Oh, no, it's yeah, Nothing is cheap. Cheaper. I think the most expensive city is San Francisco. Probably. Well, there's just all these techno gate Zuckerberg offspring that are just... Uh... But anyway, Nigeria, um, they, they make all these rape. Rape is very accepted and jokey. And it's all the men doing the jokes. And they have all this footage of these guys. These are huge stars in Nigeria making rape jokes. And, and oh, you gosh. can see women in the audience like... <laughs> And I'm like, what the fuck is funny about that? I don't know. Oh, There's certain things I, I'm not offended easily, but maybe I am. Maybe I don't. Certain things I think are not are not funny. No, that's not funny. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, and I how joke. How does he respond to that? Like, does he? Uh... Larry, I think he doesn't counteract as much. I think he lets them speak. He pushes, but doesn't prod. He has so other. He's people. asking questions. He's asking questions. He's not even on camera most of the time. Mm -hmm. Um, but he he does push them. He does, you know what I mean. He does challenge. There Ooh, is challenges. Man, that's hardcore. But they don't get it. They're still like, yeah, we think it's bad. Ha, ha, ha. Not, not like that. I'm saying they don't. They don't laugh Ooh. that it's bad, but they say it's bad, but then they go yeah, back yeah, to joking yeah. about it. Yeah. It's just very different. If you're yeah. a victim of rape and you're able to heal through humor, yeah, that's one thing. But if you're this culture of men that Ooh. rape is just like there's like one footage of a scene that's comedy where the guy's literally in the middle of rape and she's la she's <sighs> crying and he's and people are laughing like this is so weird. Weird. And it's weird. That's it's disturbing. Dramatic. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. I, look, the world is a weird disturbing. place. It's a, people. The things that laugh people laugh at here are weird. Yeah, but that's yeah really awful. I know it is awful. No, it is. It's just a culture. I mean, it's it permeates. You know, it's systemic to the to the cult. Oh, I hear an airplane. Another good word. You systemic. Really, yeah, you really. Thank you, thank you. I try and insert. You know, I think that. I'm one of those that I stay pretty basic because I'm afraid if I say a word, it and might, it's wrong, it might not be the word that I'm thinking it is. Okay, but then if you have a nice person, they will correct you elegantly. If you have an asshole, they'll be like, "Dude, what the fuck?" Or you just pretty much probably what would happen? No one would say anything. Just think you're an idiot. Okay, that's also an option. I get that a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. okay too. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, who are your favorite comedic actors? Like who inspired you? Tim Conway. Wow, I love Tim. Um, is he still uh, alive? Bob Newhart. Okay. Because those are the shows I watched when I was a kid. Okay. The Carol Burnett show and yeah. the Bob Newhart show. Did Bob ever get wacky or was he always like that dry, I loved dead dry. panty? He said that's, what, that's his thing, that right? He just kind of sat in that anxiety. And right. the circumstances were crazy, right. but he just kind of sat in I it. I like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I've been compared to a Plachette. Plachette. Suzanne Plachette. The and woman who played she? his wife. Oh, yeah. Uh, new, I mean, I've, I've been compared to her at times. Yes. Her and Bobby Darren. I get either or. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, wait, so we're probably the same generation. I'm assuming so. I mean, yeah. I'm, I don't reveal my age because I... You're an 80s kid. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. 80s, 90s. Yeah. I'm just, I like to leave my options open. Do you remember, of like, I, if I'm being honest. Please do. I don't remember a lot of what I watched, but I have a very distinct memory of The Carol Burnett Show and Bob Newhart. But I, I didn't watch remember, those. I didn't. I don't remember watching a lot of movies. Okay. I don't remember watching watching a tremendous amount of television. I don't. I did watch a lot of TV. I didn't. I didn't watch any movies as, as, growing up as a kid. <clears throat> I think it was too much of a production. Yeah. And there weren't that many movies out. I remember Risky Business. I remember yeah. seeing that. Um, and in terms of TV, I like ET. I remember seeing. ET. I don't remember seeing ET. I, I didn't like. It. I'm like, why do I give a shit about an alien? Like, well, you know I what I mean? I couldn't it. relate. I don't like scary movies. Uh, was it scary? Was ET scary? Not E.T., Alien. Oh, Alien. I didn't see that either. Is that the one that come out of the stomach? Yeah. Okay. I do like, what's her name, though? Uh, uh, Sigourney. Sigourney. Yes. Sigourney. But, I remember Working Girl. Yeah. That was fun. That was a fun movie. I like, all, remember all those Nightmare on Elm Street? I didn't. I, I, I never liked that genre. I saw one, and I don't think I've seen a horror movie since. Okay. Actually, Fair enough. Well, Sixth Sense, but that's not really hard. That horror. wasn't really hard. You got that little kid going on there. But when that dead shadow crossed, about, crossed that bathroom, that scared the oh, shit out of me. Oh, that's funny. Um... I liked Sanford and Son. I liked oh, yeah, Good I was, Times. Yeah. I liked the Archie Bunker, All in the Family. Yeah. I liked Happy Days. I did not like Joni and Chachi. Yeah. I thought that was a travesty that mm-hmm. should have just been stopped before it yeah. began. Yeah. Um, I think those were the main shows that I watched. I, I liked Family Feud with Richard Dawson. Yeah. And but I you like Merv. Until that stuff came on. Like, there yeah. was no. No, there was no, no streaming. You, there was no taping. No, no taping. Right, it was live, right? Well, it no. It was just live. Was All the Family live? They would air it live? No. Well, any show that came on, you had to be there at that time. That's true, but I'm saying, but they didn't, they didn't air it live. No, no. Not no. like SNL. No, and I'm not into these, like, live. The rent live. I don't like this. I haven't a, seen those. I'm like, I just go to the, go to the theater to see it. I just think there's, uh, it, I, yeah, because the theater is very, very special. Yeah. I'm not into like watching it on television. I think people watch it because they're waiting for somebody to fuck up. The thrill of watching a live musical is that somebody's going to fuck up. Even though the talent, like Jordan Fisher on Rent, I mean, he a, has a great voice. Okay. I mean, these people have great voices, but I think on TV it's a different, yeah. it's obviously different. Yeah, I think you're right because it's a great voice, but you want to be amped up proper, you know what I mean? Yeah. I like that little little head, head scratch you just did That's there. That's a very southern... Is it? You're yeah. gonna take the straw out in a minute. You're gonna whittle. We're gonna I, whittle one thing, together. One thing I did not do when I was a kid in this was dip. Did you dip? I didn't dip. I never I would dipped. Think you would. Dip. No, I didn't dip. I didn't dip. I, 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 I think it's all repulsive. the guys dipped, and they had a circular ring on the back of their pants where their dip came. But I'm was. not a dude. Why are you talking to me like I'm a dude? Well, there were women that dipped I too. Because you're saying I'm ma- have a masculine energy to me. No, there was a lot of women who <laughs> southern <laughs> ladies that dipped. I don't know any southern ladies that dipped. Not ladies. Okay. But there was definitely you're saying not ladies. It's okay. I'm not offended. I'm fully aware. Look, um, I like my mullet peeking through. It's like a pet <laughs> that just happened to... What? I remember Chia Pets. Yeah, it's a little Chia. Pets? I've been compared to a Chia Pet. Yeah. <laughs> you pet me. Just pet my head. Hey, easy there. Easy. <laughs> Do you have a barber you go to? I do a barb myself. <gasps> I cut, cut all my kids' yourself. hair, too. Yeah, of course. Do most of your kids have a mullet? No, none of them have a mullet. I like to be unique. I'm the matriarch. Nobody should have a matriarch's haircut. It's like a crown. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. hand crown to the yes. to the underlings. Yes, you got to have authority. Mullet's my yes. authority. Do you drink? <laughs> uh, I'm not a drinker. I keep my body pure of all substances. Okay. When I was pregnant, I drank. Okay. Oh jeez. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I can't. You, there's a lot going. I, on. There is so much just technical and strategic. There's Mad Libs. You're about to step on a Mad Libs. Oh, let's do a Mad Lib. Okay, let's do it. We're really well, going to do one now? Let's do it. I feel bad that we I know. Should we use their stuff? Okay, that's fine. Do you have a pencil or a pen? Hand, hand me my backpack. Oh, okay, hold on. I love a Mad Lib. I hope they don't mind us doing this. I think it's okay. I think they'll forgive your big celebrity. Oh, God. Okay, okay here. All right, Look at his backpack overtaking the video. Okay, here we go. All right, let me find a pen. Do you like Mad Libs? Um, I, I do like Mad Libs. I mean, I haven't done one in years, but I'm happy to... Okay, I think they're very fun. I'll okay, all right, you got it. Yep, there's, there's my deodorant. Okay, um, yeah, plural noun. Uh, fudgesicles. I love fudgesicles. <laughs> okay, an adjective. Uh, smelly. Good. All right, plural noun. Oh, God, Legos. Uh huh. I have to be better. These are boring. Just a noun. Just a noun. I'm gonna. I, like my initial reaction is so like adolescent, like butt plug. But I don't. Oof. You know All what right. I mean? Are we doing? Okay, I'm sorry. Butt plug. Okay. That seems very painful. Uh, plural noun. Oh, I forgot how 
challenge. Can lot... you give? Oh, you can't give me one because you know the thing. Well, I can give one. Just I give one. I won't read it. Um, I'll say um, uh, uh, slime jars. Uh, what is okay? Okay. Okay. My daughter used to be really into slime. Another plural noun. There's a lot of plural nouns. Another plural noun. Um, Diners. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love a diner. An adjective. Fluorescent. Oh, you like that lighting, don't you? <laughs> Pap smear lighting is how I like to call it. It's always good on first dates to take <laughs> a dude to like a place with lots of pap smear lighting. Really gets your to know yourself. Thing. Yeah. All right, another plural noun. God. Your turn on this one. Okay. Plural noun. Plural noun. I'm gonna say um, a plural noun. Um, uh, Snickers. Okay. Is that a proper noun? But I guess uh, snickerdoodle. S Snickerdoodles. <laughs> do that. Another plural noun. Um, uh, what Teslas. Ugh. You're not a fan? No, I do like Teslas. I would have sex with Elon Musk in a heartbeat. Uh, what's another adjective? You didn't relate to that at all. You could not just, you just flew I feel over like your head. That would be, you're signing up for a lot. And you're right, probably right, but I'm a yeah. handful too. What was the question? An adjective. An adjective? Luminous. I see the Ooh. see the version of light here. I, I'm teaching my um, my Peter Chen Chen also words like and luminous. Ju and just a regular <laughs> noun. A regular noun. Or a wart. A wart. Okay. I had a lot of warts as a kid. Did, Did you? you? Yeah. I've never had a wart or a bunion. I bunion had warts free. all over my fingers, <gasps> and then it was a virus, and it just went away. That's disgusting. Yeah, and I remember biting it off. Okay, stop. Oh Jesus Christ! I just, I just had a nod on it. Stop. That's horrible. Was right. it a pustule? No, but it, it had like I remember it had like threads. Okay, okay, I, I thread. Like, that sounds like worms. I don't want to even. Just okay, that's just disgusting. Okay, what's another adjective? Another adjective. Should we say disgusting? No, no. too easy. Um, itchy. Ooh, there's a lot of scratchy itchy. Yeah, stuff. there's. I'm getting. Uh, another plural noun. Um, uh, uh, beetles. Okay, okay. And then another plural noun. Um. Uh, wigs. Wigs. And then what's a city? Oh wow! Detroit. That is. That <laughs> took out all. That was a, that washed away all the sins on the. All place. right, here we go. Detroit. Detroit. Okay, ready. Right here's ball. our here's our thing. Dinosaur bones and fudgesicles have been discovered from a period known as the Smelly Age. From these fossils, scientists learned that dinosaurs were the largest Legos who ever inhabited the butt plug. <laughs> the, f the fiercest by far was Ty 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 Tyrannosaurus rex, who ruled, the who ruled the land at the same time that the flying slime jars ruled the skies, and the swimming diners ruled the oceans. These fluorescent reptiles, uh -huh. must be beautiful, yeah. had serrated had serrated snickerdoodles for devouring Teslas with their luminous jaws. Mm -hmm. Man, you're making them very attractive. I know. They could tear an animal limb from wart. They tear they tore their warts out too. Like you know I it, did, you know it. With an itchy bite. <laughs> the world has never been populated with such ferocious beetles, with the possible exception of members of the House of Wigs who live and work in Detroit. Oh, the House Look of Wigs in Detroit, they're a rough bunch. So bad um, taking away this. That's okay. Oh, yeah, that way they won't we know, wanna, right? We want to ruin the evidence. Um, let's put it right back on the floor where we found it. Um, Tony, I I want to I wonder what to wrap up with here. Well, what can we um, tell me about uh, your next endeavor? Well, the uh, I'm very excited because I did that children's book. Wait, tell me about the children's book. So I when I was on Arrested Development, I realized I was on a great show, but I was still looking to my next thing. Mm-hmm. And if you're not practicing contentment where you are, you're not going to be content when you get what you want. And I kind of woke up to that when I was on Arrested Development. Okay. I wasn't very present. And it's the thing is, if you're so focused on your next adventure, you're going to miss the adventure you're on. Like, this is where we are right now. Right. I'm very happy to be here. Good. You better be. Um, and so this little chicken named Archibald learned how to be present in the book. And now he's a very present chicken. And he kind of yes-ands his way through life. And he has a, makes a lot of mistakes, but they always have a purpose to them. Oh, wow. So it started really off fun. as a series of books, and then it got picked up by it's Netflix to be... book. A, okay. And then DreamWorks and Netflix are doing it, and my buddy Eric Fogel and Jake and Drew and all these guys are helping me do it. It's Amazing. Really yeah. And you said I could maybe do a voice on it. Sure. I okay. love it. And it's going to come out in the fall. In the fall on Netflix. Yeah. Okay, so in between watching Roma, uh, an obscure, maybe Danish uh, comedy of errors... Sure. 
um, a shitty sitcom from Bangalore. Yep, Tune sure. in to Archibald's, Archibald's next big thing. Archibald's next big thing, and you are obviously voicing Archibald. And I'm the voice of Archibald. Oh my god! Can is can we hear Archibald? How does he hear talking? He's, he's like, hey, hey, Archibald, what are you doing? I don't know. That's how he talks. Oh, I love that. He's like, why am I here? Oh, he has a little bit of like a British affectation, or a like a 1950s a Jimmy Stewart. A, a little bit of a New York. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, he's very. Uh, he's just kind of wide-eyed and sweet. <laughs> oh, I like like you a little bit. Hopefully. Yeah, I love that. Oh yeah. my God, Tony Hill, I want to hug you, but I don't want to fuck up the mic. <laughs> Can we do like a mic hug? There mm. it is, and there it is. You were fun. You, you are so cute. <laughs> You are so fucking that is, cute. That just brings back a wave of memories here. Cute as a button. I love you, Tony Hale. Yeah, I'm going to give a nice close-up of your punim. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. And look that at this gray. girl. Uh, I love the gray, though. I find it hot. Thank you. I find it hot. Uh, this is Raylan Casper White. Uh, check us out. Xraypod.com. Please subscribe and, and fucking share with people. Okay, let's yeah. get the word out, okay? Keep on uh, drinking uh, non-dairy if you're lactose intolerant. Mm. And stay tuned. Uh, I'm off to interview with Fred Molina now. Oh, wow. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. That's yeah. nice. He's attractive. He inspired me to try cocaine for the first time. Oh. And only time. But that scene in Boogie Nights where he's roaming around in a bathrobe, uh -huh. I found that. In, I'm going to tell him that, too. Okay, I'm sure he's going to find that delightful. Uh, Raylan Casper White with Tony Hale signing off.